What is it going to take for people to realize? I mean, really, how far left do Democrats have to go? They've got to, they have a, a nominee who is fine with late-term abortions, has defended them before, thinks the 20-week ban after 20 weeks is too much. Where, at what point does it end? And, and people who call themselves Christians, Matt, they realize, okay, I, this party is standing for things that do not jive with what I'm reading in my Bible here. Yeah, I think, look, everyone has a, you know, a, a, a goofy or, or a crazy great uncle at Thanksgiving who's, who's still a Democrat because he stopped, you know, he, he stopped watching the news about, after about 1973. And uh, he's still he's, he's still that old school kind of Democrat that's really a Republican. You know, he, he's a Democrat in the same way that like Jefferson Davis was a, was a, was a Democrat. Um, but I, I think for, for people that have actually been paying attention to what's been happening in the last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, really since Roe v. Wade, the last 40 years, it's really obvious that the Democrat Party has become the party of godlessness, of secularism, um, of, of sort of the, the individual. It's, it's all about the individual. There's nothing about freedom, about the law, about community, none of those things. And, that, and that's what Christianity is all about. It's not about, it's not about you know, the individual whim and, and the individual will being sacrosanct and that the individual should be able to do whatever they want. Mm. And that's what the Democrat Party stands for.